Hey, what's going on, everyone? It is B. Avery here again for another episode of Just My Opinion. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you tuning in to this episode just to hear me geek out and nerd out about the box office success of my number one most anticipated film of all time of this year, which that is Black Panther. It is still just doing amazing things at the box office, and I'm very, very happy about that. I'm also going to talk briefly about Avengers Infinity War. And to be honest with you, there is nothing too impressive, in my opinion, at least about the box office for Black Panther. Honestly, uh, this time last week, I thought that it would be at the one point two billion dollar mark worldwide. And it's not quite there yet, which that is okay. Uh, right now, worldwide, it is at one point one billion, one one billion, one hundred eighty five uh, I'm sorry, one billion one hundred eighty five million one hundred and fifty three thousand seven hundred and ninety eight dollars. Um, so that's just it's less than 15 million away from one point two billion. And I thought it was going to reach that. Now it is uh, reaching the um, number one box office again for the fifth week in the row. Fifth week in a row. It is at the number one box office beating out Tomb Raider. A Wrinkle in Time and all the other films that was released in the past few weeks. Um, the only other film that's been able to stay at number one for this long is Avatar, which came out in 2009. Um, so that was uh, nine years ago. But we got Black Panther at number one. These are the actual numbers. These are not the estimated because yesterday was estimated. They was going to make 27 million, but we get the actual numbers today. Black Panther comes in at 26, 26 million dollars, 26 it barely beat Tomb Raider, twenty six million six hundred and fifty thousand. Tomb Raider, which was released this past Friday, uh, twenty three million six hundred and thirty twenty three million six hundred thirty three thousand. I can only imagine is a film that honestly I've never even heard of before. I mean, I, I you know there was no screenings for it last week to my knowledge. Um, I didn't get any invitations. I didn't get any emails. I didn't get any regular uh, screening information as far as this is concerned, but it made seventeen million dollars. And I don't watch TV the most like everybody else. I don't watch TV at all. Uh, I just watch zero TV. I don't have anything against TV. I'll explain that in just a second. But I can only imagine is a drama family, and the synopsis goes: the inspiring and unknown true story behind. Mercy Me's beloved chart-topping son that brings ultimate hope to many is a gripping reminder of the power of true forgiveness. Directed by Andrew Irwin and John John Irwin, and I've never heard of this movie before. Um, is this this is a? I was about to say is this a foreign film, but it doesn't look like it. So I don't know if you've seen the film or heard about it much. You know, go ahead and shoot a comment below after subscribing. And uh, let me know what you think about that movie in particular. And also, um, if you've seen it or heard of it or, you know, anything like that. But uh, coming in at number three, we have for the box office weekend. Or no, that was number three. A Wrinkle in Time comes in at number four. Uh, 16 million and Love, Simon with 11 million. Love, Simon opened this past weekend. I reviewed that film. I, I thought it was pretty decent. Um, I did have an issue with it or two, but for the most part, it was an enjoyable film. If you want to go check out my review, go ahead and subscribe right now and, you know, just go to the videos and you'll you'll get it right there. Game Night came in at number six. Peter Rabbit, number seven. Strangers Pray at Night, number eight. Red Sparrow, number nine. And Death Wish, number ten. Jumanji is still in the top 12. That film is doing a hell of a great job. That budget was only $90 million, and this worldwide gross is $941 million worldwide. Nobody thought it was going to be doing that well. That is freaking insane. That, that is freaking insane. And just for comparison, okay, so Black Panther is at $1.1 billion right now. Jumanji is not quite there. They're at $941 million. That's fairly close. But Jumanji costs less than half of the of what Black Panther cost. Black Panther was a two hundred million dollar budget. Jumanji was ninety million, so that's hundred and ten million dollars less, and they're like right there. So that just goes to show how well Jumanji is performing. Um, but back to Black Panther in this top five. I expected Black Panther to beat number two. I did not expect for it to be number one. I thought that Black Panther should have. Um, 
should have uh, lost this. I thought Tomb Raider should have won. And I also listened to John Campia. You know, he was also saying over the weekend, and I do agree with him. I don't agree with him all the time. I do respect him a lot. Um, didn't always like the guy, but I've always respected him. But I'm I'm a big fan of him now. I ha- I've been a big fan since around he was around 10,000 subscribers at AMC long, 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 long time ago when like uh uh what is her name? She left to go do f- shoot film herself like radiant productions amy amy not i'm gonna say amy wise aaron amy bach something y'all know who i'm talking about i can't remember her name but yeah but anyway g- let me um get back on topic uh he was saying that you know tomb raider should have came in with a lot more like 30 million dollars and i expected that too but tomb raider just underperformed black parent that did what it was supposed to do so that comes in at number one so let me get rid of that right there now, what else do I want to say before I go there? Um, no, that's irrelevant. But Black Panther, let me go back to this. Right now, domestically, it, it broke it broke uh six hundred million dollars domestic. Domestic, it is a six hundred and five million dollars six hundred five six hundred and five million twenty seven thousand two hundred eighteen dollars. That's what's up. That's amazing right there. It is right there behind Avengers uh that came out in two thousand twelve, uh with it, which is at six hundred and twenty three million. So Marvel's The Avengers is at six twenty three. Black Panther is at six hundred five million. Black Panther is going to surpass. Uh, Marvel's The Avengers. We just don't. That's a given. We just don't know how much is going to surpass it. Is it going to just surpass it by a million dollars, twenty million dollars? Is it going to go all the way up to seven hundred million dollars? Well, I don't know, but we can try to guess because Black Panther right now is also pacing with Star Wars: The Last Jedi. And when I go to when I go to off, Box Office Mojo where I get my information at, sometimes I get it from Forbes. I look a little faster, and somebody, one of my subscribers, was telling me that as well. But when I go to Box Office Mojo and I go to the home page, I'm gonna just do it right here again for you guys. You click the logo, you scroll down to where they have showdowns in the middle of the page. And the opening weekend showdown it shows 31 day totals for uh, Black Panther and the, and the uh, Last Jedi. But there's actually five films, Star Wars The Force Awakens, Jurassic World, The Avengers, Star Wars The Last Child, and Black Panther. So let's look at the day-to-day on each of these right here. I also want to let you know, today is Monday, uh, March the 19th. Ever since last Tuesday, six days ago, Black Panther has been beating all these films in um in their day. Let me let me switch this because I got it on day. Let me uh, buy the day of the week. Let me do by the number of the week. So... In its 26th day of release, Black Panther won at $5.1 million. And it's t- out of those five films that I mentioned, Star Wars, The Force Awakens, Jurassic World, The Avengers, The Last Jedi, and Black Panther. On its 27th day of release, Black Panther won again at $3.8 million. On its 28th day of release, Black Panther won again at $3.6 million. On its 29th day of release, Black Panther won again at $7.4 million. And on its 30th day of release, which was uh, Saturday, it won again at $11 million. And then Sunday, uh, it didn't win. Star Wars, The Force of Wicked won at 8.9. Black Panther only had $7.6 million. But the reason, the first thing I said when I was comparing all these is on this 31st day, uh, Black Panther is outpacing Star Wars, The the Last Jedi. On its 31st day, domestically, Star Wars, The Last Jedi, which came out this past December, was at $592 million. $592,129,065 on its 31st day of release. Black Panther is at $605 million. So, 605 versus 592. So, it is outpacing Star Wars, The Last Jedi. If it stays in that track of outpacing it, Black Panther, because The Last Jedi, that made... Oh... It didn't make that much. It made six hundred nineteen million uh, domestically, so that is not as much as the Avengers. So I hope Black Panther does more than that. Well, let me let me go back up. I, I should have looked at that a bit, little bit more. Let's see how it's pacing against Jurassic World on a day to day, and I'll take because Jurassic World's uh, total domestic was six hundred fifty two million. So Black Panther is yes, it is. Beating that as well. 
outpacing their day to day too. I'm not gonna go, but it's yeah, it's outpacing that day to day as well. Like the past six days. So on its thirty first day of release, Jurassic World was at five hundred and ninety million. Uh, uh, Black Panthers at six oh five. Now there may have been just a sort such a large drop off with the Last Jedi because. Uh, that had a lot of fans, you know, divi- divisive as far as, you know, whether they liked it or not. It may not have had that repeat viewing value like a lot of films do have. But at the same time, Jurassic World just didn't really have a repeat viewing that much either. But Jurassic World, I mean, okay, right now, Black Panther is $15 million ahead. Of Jurassic World on its thirty first day of release, six or five million to five ninety million, and so if 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 this stays on track like this, um, and Black Panther doesn't have too many films coming up to compete, well, it actually does have one. That's Avengers: Infinity War, which I'll talk about in a second. But Jurassic World six hundred and fifty million. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a prediction. I'm gonna go f- as far as saying that Black Panther. Is going to make six hundred and seventy five million dollars domestically here in the United States of America. If it gets to seven hundred, I will be very impressed. I will be very surprised by that. But I'm going to go ahead and say that it will make six hundred seventy five million. That is my expectation. I will be disappointed if it does not make six hundred and fifty million. And I will be surprised if it makes seven hundred million worldwide. Now, let's get rid of this tab we're just eliminating tabs going down the list all right so i want to talk about that right now i want to talk about this so worldwide it's at 1.1 uh billion dollars 1 billion 185 million if we look at the worldwide yeah past captain america civil war it's right there behind iron man 3 Iron Man 3 is at 1.2 billion, 1 billion 214 million. Black Panther is at 1 billion 185 million. So it's going to be number one as far as all the Marvel Cinematic Universe films domestically. That's a given. It's going to be the Avengers at 623. That's number two. It's not going to be uh, all the other Avengers movies internationally. It, it's just not because you got um, number one internationally is Avengers Age of Ultron at 946 million. Number two is Marvel's The Avengers at 895 million. Number three is Iron Man 3 at 805 million dollars. And then Black Panther. Uh, then Okay. And then Captain America Civil War is 745 million dollars. This is just international numbers only. Not worldwide. Not U.S. domestic. Just internet. All the international countries combined. Um, Captain America's number four is 745. And then Black Panther is coming in at number five at 580 million dollars so it will possibly cross the 600 million dollars and that's great it's beating guardians of the galaxy volume 2 spider-man homecoming uh internationally and all the other films as well so nobody can ever say predominantly black films don't sell well overseas bull crap bull crap you can just say black panther 600 million dollars there you go. And of course, this is like the first sequel. I mean, the, the first sequel, that don't make sense. The first film. So it could make, you know, um, Black Panther Part 2, Black Panther Part 3. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it could get up there. So that's just, you know, a great thing to, um, it's just a great thing to look at. Uh, then again, I really, I, I was hoping that it was going to be at 1.2 being today. I was going to be much more excited than I am now, but that's okay. But Avengers Infinity War, man, hold up. Did y'all see that trailer that came out this past Friday? You know, my, uh, my re- I did a reaction and review. It's, it did pretty well. It's thinking like 6,000 6, views, 6,900 6, views. I wanted it to do better than that because the first Avengers trailer that came out in November, I got 26,000 views. And at the time, that was the most views I've ever had on my little bitty uh, YouTube channel. Uh, but then my most viewed now is Black Panther at 27,000. And then number three right now is Wrinkle of Time. That's at 17,000. Uh, I never, I know this is all the other people that you watch like, oh, B, they get that every day. You know what I'm saying? They get that in their sleep. Well, not me, man. I'm still small. 
and I'm growing. And uh, thank you for all the people that do watch and do subscribe. I do a really, I really, really, really do appreciate all the comments, um, all the thumbs up, all the kind words, even the constructive criticism. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate all of that. But um, the trailer dropped Friday at eight in the morning. I didn't get home till around six. And then I was, I reacted to it quick. I tried, I edited the whole thing. And then right when I was about to export it, man, my computer, uh, it wouldn't let me play it back. And I was like, Brandy learned a lesson a long time ago. Do not upload no video unless you watch a playback or, you know, but it wouldn't play back. So I closed the program and then I tried to open it back up and it wouldn't let me open it back up. Right. So I was like, damn, okay. Every time this happens, I just got to restart my computer. But this was a time where my computer needed to rest to update. So when I restarted my computer, it had to update. I was like, no! Oh, I got to get this reaction up. And it was like 10% updated. Do not turn off your computer. And y'all always know, never turn off your computer when it's updated. And that's going to take even 10 times much longer. So then my computer's jacked up, right? So when it was done updating, it was like, we can't complete the updating. We got to undo the update. So I had, it, it's like, I was like delayed another two hours. I was so pissed off. I was like, oh God, I want to get my reaction up. But, you know, uh, I got it up. But it is what it is. But anyway, uh, on another note, the Avengers Infinity War trailer was freaking badass amazing. Golly, I cannot wait to see Wakanda hold it down in Avengers Infinity War. You're not finna get into Wakanda. If they infiltrate Wakanda, I will be pissed off. Ooh, I would be no, you, you don't get into Wakanda. Like they have never been penetrated uh or anything on a on a large scale. You know what I'm saying? Even Kane the Kong, even I, I took my comic book enthusiasts, correct me if I'm wrong. Even Kane the Conqueror, when he tried to invade the earth, he couldn't even get into Wakanda. You know, so uh, I got that from Avengers Earth and Mightiest Heroes. But Avengers Infinity War always sets uh, I said always. I already set the new record for advanced tickets. I am reading this from Collider.com, my go-to source by Mr. Matt Goldberg. Um, fans want to lock down their Avengers Infinity War tickets according to Deadline. Let's give Deadline the credit. It only took six hours for the upcoming superhero epic to achieve the best-selling first-day tickets. It is already beaten out. Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice. Justice League, which I did like, no surprise there, and the previous record holder Black Panther per deadline in a Fandango survey of more than 1,000 moviegoers who snapped up the Avengers Infinity War tickets this morning. And then they got these stats here that really don't make any sense to me. I bought my tickets, so I got mine for Thursday, March, not Thursday, uh, April the 26th at 7 p.m. IMAX 2D. I cannot wait because this is the first time in film history to where a whole film is going to be filmed with IMAX cameras from beginning to end. And so, yeah, uh, I'm freaking excited. Also, guys, I also received my first copyright strike for my Den of Thieves review that was up. They, they took it down. Why did I receive a strike? I have no idea. And I'm trying to fight that right now. I mean, I've had videos demonetized before and all that copyright claims. That's not, But I never had a strike before. So it's scaring me as hell right now because if you get three strikes, they just delete your whole channel. And uh, even though I'm real smart right now, I'd be pretty upset if my channel was deleted uh, with no really. Because I, I didn't hit them up like, hey, man, what did I do? What was wrong with my my uh, Den of Thieves review? I, I don't know. And this is foreign country, to, uh, foreign, foreign, uh, foreign company. I emailed them. I hit them up on YouTube. I hit them up this way. So we're just going to have to see. How that goes, uh, if anybody has any insight on that, please comment below because I ain't trying to get no strikes or nothing like that. Uh, but guys, um, I want Black Panther to make $700 million domestically. Um, I'll be happy if it makes six seventy five. That is my prediction. I want it to make... 1.35 billion worldwide. I think it'll. I think it'll stop right there. But guys, what do you think about this past weekend's box office results? What do you think about Black Panther and this box box office results? What do you think about the movie that you like it, that you hate it? What do you think about Avengers: Infinity War? Did you like the trailer? Did you hate the trailer? What are you excited about as far as what I discussed today? You know, let me know down in the comment section below. 
let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing and guys you know i said all that but that is just my opinion and i really do appreciate you you know tuning into it um please subscribe to my channel click the bell so you can be notified when i make uploads and give me that thumbs up let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes also guys uh go to my website check me out there book market also look me up on social media facebook instagram and twitter all that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen and i made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review um slash reaction to this box office and me ranting and all that good stuff and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion Peace.